So we have a, a door per U here, and, and I'm just gonna uh, demonstrate a, a couple of things. One of those is body condition scoring. So with sheep, body condition scoring is on a scale of one to five. One being very emaciated, and five being um, almost obese. So we want to manage animals somewhere between body condition two and body condition four. Three being ideal, but we have some range there depending on their time of production. To determine body condition score, we visually look at the animal to see if we can see any ribs that are, that are, um, that are showing on the animal. We look and see if there's any of the loin that we can see where the backbone is protruding up. We look to see if there's any dip. And this animal, uh, this animal is in very good condition, is probably in a body condition four. We see everything is really smooth here, but we don't see big pones on the back that you would see in a body condition five. We rarely see a body condition five unless it's a, an animal that is not in production and has not been in production for many, many years on really good quality feed. So this ewe is in very good condition. Um, we really can't feel the ribs at all, even with a lot of pressure. So we know that we're well above body condition three. And when we get back on the loin and we're feeling for the spinous processes, the vertebra right here, or those protruding processes out the side, we cannot feel either of those. So that puts this ewe in a body condition score four. Um, it's not absolute, you know, that you have it ideally. You just need to know what ideal kind of is for your management and, and then know whenever animals are below ideal. So earlier we showed a, a sheep that was in a body condition score of four. Uh, these group of ewes are, are in light condition, too light a condition uh, to breed, to raise a lamb. Uh, they would need to be brought up a full body condition score before um, they would be expected to be productive. So that's either through uh, moving to improved pastures, better pastures, providing supplementation, putting them in a dry lot, providing a, a real high quality feed. Um, without getting our hands on them, these ewes are all in light condition, at most a body condition score of two, more likely a one and a half body yeah. condition score which is approaching life-threatening situation. So when we're evaluating body condition score, the first place we'll start is kind of in the neck. If we have a real thin neck, um, they're, they've lost muscle, you know, body muscle. They use that for energy. Uh, but it's more telling as we move back into the shoulder. Thin animals will be really narrow fronted because they've taken all of that, that uh, all that body tissue away. Um, their shoulders will be real thin. We can see, we can't see the ribs, but you can see that there's not really much cover on the ribs. And even more telling when we're looking over the, the top of the back and into the loin, we see the spinous process, those vertebra kind of sticking up. The, the abdomen is gant and pulled in, but we can see the loin. We can see that there's a dip from the top of the spine out to the edge of the loin. So, that loin muscle has been used uh, for energy within that body and then moving back into the hip and the lower leg. Uh, we see no visible fat around the tail, plus uh, back into those legs. We've used a lot of that muscle tissue for energy. And so those animals are in fairly poor condition. Often people will try and body condition score animals based on their gut size. Sometimes, especially in beef cattle, but sometimes in sheep, if they're on poor quality feed, they might fill up on feed, but it's a so low quality, they don't digest it very well. So they'll have a full belly, but they're very thin. So we really got to look at, at the amount of fat down their, down their top, the amount of muscle that they're carrying, as opposed to just the circumference of their abdomen. At this point, we can get up here and uh, and palpate on the animal. So I'm gonna again feel the ribs. I can feel ribs. Um, so we know we're, we're below a body condition three. We get our hands on the loin. Uh, we can feel the backbone coming up. We can feel little bumps on the outside uh, for each of those spinous processes. And so then we get back on the hip. We can feel the hip bones, the hooks, and the pins. So in this goat, this goat would be body condition score of two. 
um, if it was sharper points here across the loin um, and even more protruding ribs here that would drop us below a condition score of two. Condition score of two is not, uh, not life threatening except for the fact if we have animals that are very near uh, parturition or they're going to kid or lamb. So in this case this doe is a body condition score of two which means and she's very near kidding which means that we need to keep a close eye and provide supplemental feed if they're not on very high quality pasture so that the animal can continue to thrive. I'm sure that's why they're in these pens is to bring, they got a little poor and they, they brought them in here to mm -hmm. get a little weight on them before they started kidding. That's correct. So this little nanny's in a little bit better body condition. Uh, she's probably still just shy of a three. You can still feel her ribs. There's some transverse processes there. I wouldn't think that she's lost any muscle yet, but as they get to lower conditions, certainly a, a two and certainly a one, they will start to lose some muscle. But uh, she's probably another one we'd want to get in and, and give a little extra feed to before she starts dropping kids. So you can see I'm kind of pushing here on her ribs. I have to push just a little bit to feel them. So she does have some, a little more fat over her ribs than those other two, but she's still got some backbone sticking up and still got a little transverse process there. So. She's probably a three. Yeah, so on body condition, you know, as we said, producers do things to make sure that their animals are in low stress conditions and happy animals perform well. And uh, so we, we have seen some, some animals that are below ideal body condition and we just show those as examples of sometimes things can happen. You know, animals can get sick and uh, you know, astute producers will notice that and, and body condition can sure be one sign of, of long-term uh, kind of uh, chronic sickness like these shoes over here have a chronic condition. Uh, sometimes animals just get old, you know, and their teeth, teeth go and so it's not entirely unusual to have some suboptimal body condition in a flock or a, a herd of animals, but uh, you know, producers do a pretty good job of, of making sure that the majority of their animals healthy condition and able to respond to nutrition the way they should and, and if they get some that are sub suboptimal well then they do something about it. So.